Since inductors are components of electrical circuits, one might wonder on how do we combine them in parallel and in series. Now, remember that an inductor is just a wire that is put into a coil that's coiled up essentially. Because of that, in terms of the makeup of an inductor, is not very different from the makeup of a resistor. Remember, a resistor is just a wire that can have a particular thickness and a particular length. Remember the resistance equation, rho L over A. So because of that, it might make sense then that when we combine inductors in series, we combine them the same way as we combine resistors. Now this is the symbol, one of the symbols that we usually use to represent inductors and circuits. Sometimes we just do it like that. So this is a little simpler, but either one of them is acceptable. So when I have two inductors, an inductance of L1 and an inductance of L2, when we combine them in series, we just add them up. Now this, as long as they are not linked magnetically. If they are linked magnetically, then we have mutual inductance and the problem becomes more complicated and we are not going to address it here. In parallel, of course, we use the same idea that we used for resistors. So 1 over the equivalent L is 1 over L1 plus 1 over L2. 